Hey guys, so this video is concerned with the connection of Mongo Atlas database with the Django project. So let's start. First of all, let me show you how much project is already written by me. So as you can see, this is a basic Django project which contains a user profile database where we can take basic information from the user like email, password and image and then display it on a web page. Let me show you the web page. Yeah, so this is the web page where we can display the information taken by the user. So currently in this Django project, uh, we are using PostgreSQL database to store data. But now we have to change the PostgreSQL database to Mongo Atlas database. So for that, we will be referring to a blog by StudyGyan, which have, which have given us all the code required to do this task in a very detailed manner. Let me show you the blog. Yeah, so this is the blog. Uh, okay, so let's start. First of all, let me tell you some prerequisites for the project. Django must be installed on a system and you must have a MongoDB database server installed and running. All right, we'll be using Mongo Atlas server. Uh, so first of all, let's install Django. Uh, for this, we have to install a particular package of a particular package of Django and PyMongo. So first let's install Django. Let me close the server and paste this command. Okay, so requirement already satisfied, uh, but you guys can install it on your system. Uh, after this, let's configure the Mongo database settings.py file um, because currently it is configured in a way so that it can be connected to the PostgreSQL database. But now we have to connect it to the Mongo Atlas database. So I have already written this command. So let's copy it and open the settings.py file where we can where we can comment this code and write the new code. So let's paste it. Um, here we have to change some details like the name of the database, the host, username, username and password will be same. We have to just change the name of the database. So let's create a new database. Um, so I have opened Mongo Atlas on my web browser. You guys can create a free account. So let's go on the database section. Uh, let's wait for it to open. Okay, so here I have already created a cluster named uh, named by cluster zero. You can you guys can easily create a cluster by clicking on the create option. Um, first of all, let's browse collections and create a new database. So let's create a database by the name test db2 because i have already a database by test db and the collection name user profile okay let's create it so we have successfully created our database test db2 and inside that we have created a collection user profile. So now it's time to connect to our cluster. Click on the database option again. And now let's connect to the cluster. Um, select connect to your application option. And now here it is written we have to install PyMongo. Uh, but we have to install an older version of PyMongo because the new version doesn't work with the Django which we have installed earlier in this project. So I have copied this code and now I have pasted it. pip install pymongo 3.12.3 Alright, so let's install it. Requirement already satisfied because I have already installed it in my system and after that we can copy this we can copy this address. I have already written this address in my code along with my password. You guys have to just change this password with your password of the cluster. 
you will be getting that password while creating the cluster all right so let's jump to the next step now as we have changed the database we have to again make migrations and migrate so first of all let's save the settings file okay um, now let's copy this code and paste it here and migrate so after migrate we have to create a super user let's wait for this to migrate it can take up to one minute So now let's create the super user. Let's name the super user as admin. Email address, we can enter any email address. It is not important. Password. And bypass it. So now we have created a super user successfully. Let's run the server python manage.py run server okay so now let's refresh our site we won't be seeing any data now because all the data is deleted uh, and there is no new data in the mongo atlas so now let's add some data Okay, so name as user1, phone number, email address, pass1 as password and choose an image. Um, let me choose this image. Okay, and now let's save it. Okay, so the user profile has been added successfully. Let's refresh our page. Okay, so you can see that we have successfully connected our Mongo Atlas database to a Django project. So this marks the end of the video. Thanks for watching.